brother and sister of the celestial energy, brother wisdom. How's it going, guys? You know, me and a brother um, at a workplace I was talking today. You know, we, we were talking on the point of energy. And, you know, one thing, you know, I, 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 it came to mind that, you know, we were talking about, you know, the the forces and, and link, linking it to the forces. And, you know, as we were talking, you know, I was telling the brother, I'm like, you know, the one thing that we need in order to operate the forces is strong magnetism. All right, magnetism is the most important force in order to link in all the forces. All right, because the magnet, what the magnetism does is it allows us to gravitate or allows us to co connect with the forces. So you know, like with your tai chi, tai chi. Let's let's say if we, so for instance your tai chi. As you do your tai chi. You increase kinetic energy, okay? And that's the importance of Tai Chi. People say, what's, the, what's, what's so important about Tai Chi and karate and all that? As you continue your Tai Chi, you, cre you increase your kinetic energy, all right? And that's that energy that literally holds everything together, all right? That kinetic energy is highly important because, you know, it's that, that's that holding power. That's like the, the, the egg and the cake. You know, if you make the cake and then put the egg in there, you know, it's, it's not going to come out that, that, that the right way because it's not going to have that hold. And that kinetic energy literally holds that uh, uh, gives is, is that is that energy behind the magnetism that that grabs the other forces, you know. So you have a you have a, a magnetism, which is that key component. That's why we say, you know, your, your, your Tai Chi is important. Why your Tai Chi is important? Because it builds kinetic energy. It builds your magnetism. It builds electricity. But the more, what, what really, how to really tap into that magnetism is you grounding yourself. All right. That's where yoga comes in at. Yoga allows you to ground yourself. All right. There are so many different forms of yoga that you can, that you can tap into. All right. Yoga allows you to ground yourself and may and 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 it helps you to um, um, increase your, the magnetic force or the magnetic fields that are within you. OK, so that's 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 is highly, highly important. All right. So that's the that's the work that you got to put in behind all the other uh, 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 the, 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 the Hollywood screens, you know, where they, they show you X-Men and Avagen Avengers and, you know, and, and your Avatar and all that. They, they show you, you know, like we said before, they show you the, 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 uh, what happens after the work, but they don't show you the, all the work that you got to put into it. All right. So that's, that's the whole important, the whole important part of connecting with all the, the forces is grounding yourself. All right, like we said, that's your yoga. Your tai chi increases the uh, increases your kinetic energy because you're flowing. All right, that uh, that kinetic energy is important. All right, and don't try to control the energy. That's one thing we, you know, so many of us try to control the energy. You can't control the energy. Why can't you control the energy? Because you are energy yourself. Because you are energy. It's impossible for energy to control energy because you are energy. You must flow with the energy. That's the key component, flowing with the energy, all right? All your demonic forces are nothing but different levels of energies, all right? Um, we, uh, you see the, the movie um, Doctor Strange, and you see when he opens up his hand, and you see this, this, uh, this energy, a light or whatever. That is uh, an example of a Kabbalah, okay? And the Kabbalah, all right, each form of the Kabbalah represents um, a demonic force or is within the satanic realm, a demonic force, which uh, becomes higher and higher um, as the geometric uh, uh, forms um, begin to change. The more complex the geometric forms is of, the, of that Kabbalah energy, the more powerful the um, 
the demonic forces are within you. All right. The demonic forces goes actually beyond the forces that we know. Electricity, uh, wind, water, fire, magnetism. Those demonic forces go go actually go beyond that. You start tapping into photon and plasma and um, and different electrons and and uh, you start tapping into um, uh, that gamma energy. You start tapping into uh, uh, that that quantum in, in, in the quantum uh, 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 the quantum universe. You start tapping into that energy from the quantum universe, which is you know that that stuff that you see the Star Wars with lightsabers and all that other stuff. You know, even though the science say was lightsabers are not real. You know, believe me. The, you, when you start when you start going into the higher demonic force, all right, and that energy is powerful in you. What they call that Jedi energy. The Jedi is like the top of the of, of, of the demonic forces, you know, and say I've, the forces. I feel the force with him. You know, you got to understand that that was that's that's the top of the, the, the of the demonic forces. So that Kabbalah energy. All right. Uh, is, is, is a powerful energy that uh, that uh, that gives you the ability to go into higher forces. But the basis of all of these energies all of these energies, the Kabbalah, the demonic forces, the satanic realm, all the, the basis of it is magnetism. All right. And it's magnetism. It's all about grounding yourself. All right. There are so many different ways to ground yourself. You know, you can um, I can share some videos with, you know, about grounding yourself. And like I say, you got yoga. Uh, you have other um, uh, things that you can do. Um, Let's see here. There is a uh, a style where you can like um, do a squat and hold your hands out. It's like you're gonna you squat and this and you make sure your 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 butt is 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 out just enough, like you're gonna crap off the side of a hill, and then you you want to put you have your arms uh, uh, straight, and you want to stay there for a while, and that's a part of grounding yourself. All right. And um, um, therefore, when you, as you have your hands out, you can feel that magnetic pressure coming up into your body because you're, you're actually uh, uh, have, uh, uh, linking your root chakra into, um, into nature, into the planet, to the core. Your root chakra is being linked into the core and you are literally tapping into the, the magnetic uh, force of the planet. Okay, so the magnetism is highly important, you know, so we all have to ground yourself, ground yourself, you know, that's, that's, that's highly, highly important, you know, and this is, this is what gives you the ability, like I said, to, you know, to connect with electricity, you know, it's magnetism, to, to, to connect with the fire, all right, to control the fire, it's magnetism, all right. If you want to control the water, magnetism, you know, look at the moon, how the, the, how powerful the moon is. All right. The moon is a powerful giant magnet. And if we ground ourselves properly, we can just we can be just as powerful as the moon on the planet here. You got to remember that, that that even though we walk among each other, our planet uh, uh, is, is, is in different uh, dimensional planes and you could be in a much higher dimensional plane than where our enemies are and you can literally control them this is that Lucy and and and, and matrix type type stuff all right where you know the the magnetism is so high that you literally uh, 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 control you know everything you make them float in the air you know you 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 make their guns come out of their hands you you disengage their guns break their guns down right in front of them without touching it the bullets are are literally uh uh uh, uh unable to touch you all right so we must understand that magnetism is the most important force of everything and it's all about grounding yourself um, our, you can look up some, um, some information in the history of our comedic brothers and sisters, uh, the comedic yoga, look up the comedic yoga, because the, the yoga that our ancestors did, 
was actually the proper way to increase your magnetic fields in your body. All right. That was that was the proper way to 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 um, increase your magnetic fields. It showed that we also um, uh, did Tai Chi or what they call Gochi or Tai Chi, what we call Mandu. All right. Shows that we did that. Like we said, you know, that that goes hand in hand with yoga. You know, you increase your magnetism. And then after you increase your magnetism, you increase your electromagnetic energy and your kinetic energy. All right. To give, to give you ability to that, that kinetic energy gives like I was, I'm being redundant. That kinetic energy gives you the ability to link into those um, to the uh, forces and the magnetism pulls it towards you. So um, just wanted to pass that information on to you guys. Let's pass it on to you and, you know, understand the importance of, you know, uh, uh, correcting ourselves and bringing ourselves back in balance with uh, nature, because this is the only way that we're going to defeat our enemies. We can't defeat our enemies by going guns and bullets, you know, guts and blood and guts and all this other stuff. We can't defeat them by fighting them on their low energy level. We can't defeat them that way. We have to defeat them by going in a much higher level of energy and power. This is the only way that we can defeat them. So you guys get out here, you know, and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, it's about grounding yourself. It's about believing in yourself. It's about going within yourself. You know, you, you know, learn the different ways of grounding yourself. If you don't have the ability, all right, if you are unable to do the yoga and all the other um, exercises, you can always sit in your chair and hold your hands out to on, on your side and you can link into the, the magnetic forces that way. All right. And you can focus on the magnetism. All right. Because if you're unable, your heart is what helps to pull in that magnetism because your heart within your heart, you already know I want to ground myself. All right. You have those who are the paraplegics. You have those who have. Um, uh, problems with the bodies, you know, and they and 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 you know you can't do the tai chi, you know, or or do the leg movements and all that. You can't do the squatting down or whatever to to ground yourself or whatever. You know you can't do that. So you know you can always hold your hands to your side, hold your hands out towards you, you know, and link into that magnetism. All right, because it's it's all the same. You know, it's just some of some of us who are who are more flexible can do certain things that others can't do. But it's all in your heart. It's what your heart, you know, it's is it's, it's what's in your heart that that helps you to 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 um, to link into the the different forces, uh, the forces of nature, the forces of the cosmos, you know, the forces of life alone, you know. So. Um, I'm glad the, myself and the brother, uh, had that discussion, you know, because that was very important. I'm, and I just wanted to share it with you guys that, you know, Hey, the magnetism is the most important force of all the forces. All right. And you gain that magnetism through, like we said, your yoga, you know, your Tai Chi, your meditation alone increases the magnetism. All right. But first and foremost, you need to ground yourself through the different practices. You can do light yoga. All right. But you want to do it on a regular basis where you're able to ground yourself. All right. Because and, and, and you know, this the yoga also helps to build inner peace. Inner peace is another uh, attribute that you can use to help to increase your magnetism. But you need to put in work with your yoga your Tai Chi. Um, and, and I'll go through some, I'll, I'll do some, um, some different, um, examples of grounding yourself. But you be there long day, but you guys can always go on YouTube and pull up different, um, cause there are like millions of videos on YouTube. You can go on YouTube and pull up, uh, ways to, to ground yourself. You know, you can go pull up different ways to ground yourself and you will find, uh, um, there's a world of information out there on grounding yourself and, and, and helping and sending yourself to, to higher levels of energy and power. You know, this is where I want to take you guys. 
the high level of energy and power. Tap into that 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 energy. Tap into that power. All right. You become that energy. You become that power. You become one with yourself. One with nature. All right. Oh, excuse me. There. You know. You become one with nature. You become all that nature is. Magnetism first. First and foremost, magnetism. That's the key to controlling all of the forces. Okay. Just want to pass that on to you guys. Um, I'm going to come back with you guys a little later. I need to go get some rest. Long day. All right. All power to the multi chakra people of Melanin. Peace to you all. Oh, did I say all chakra? All... Wow. I haven't said that in a long time. All power to the multi chakra people of Melanin. I haven't said that in a long time. Okay, let me fix that up. I'm going to fix that up. Wow, I haven't said that in a long time. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all. Whoa, that was that was classic there. Wow, peace to you all. <laughs>